Game 7, Western Conference Semifinals. The Portland Trailblazers have reached the final destination. An epic journey is nearly complete. The opportunity to win the ultimate prize in a series that will go the distance. They must bring all they can muster against the Los Angeles Lakers. It's all come down to Game 7 of the Conference Semifinals. Up next... Here it is, folks, Game 7 of the Western Conference Semifinal. These two teams have battled hard, but it's only one that will move on. It's the NBA Playoffs on 2K Sports. And in our matchup tonight, we'll see the Los Angeles Lakers going up against the Portland Trailblazers here at Moda Center. I'm Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and Steve Smith, also our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. What a treat tonight to have Candace Parker joining us. Candace, great to see you. Thank you so much for having me. I'm excited to, to sit here at the table with people that I definitely enjoy working with. Well, aside from Greg and Steve, you're probably talking about me and David. Ouch. Correct? I'm Candace? just talking about you and David. You know, <laughs> Smitty and Greg and TA, nah. I'm gonna let it slide. And now the Lakers starting group. The forwards are LeBron and Davis. Dennis Schroeder is out there with Caldwell Pope, and it's Drummond in at the five spot. And for Portland, guard spots filled by Lillard and McCollum. Nurkic is out there with Robert Covington, and it's Powell in at the three spot. No doubt, Candace, that LeBron with the Lakers, championship LeBron now with that L.A. team, third different team, he's won a championship, securing his legacy. How long do you think he can keep playing at this level? Well, to be able to do the things that he's doing, um, I think people are really learning to appreciate how much time and energy he puts into his body. And honestly, it has an impact on me as well and what I'm able to do uh, just watching him, uh, the amount of preparation that he puts into it, the amount of care, um, you know, obviously after games, making sure that he's icing and taking care of his body. Because, listen, that's your career. And I do believe that he can continue to do this for you as well. And you've been doing some of those things. You picked up some of these things from him. I've had to. You know, I, I was I didn't like ice tubs, and I was like, okay, I gotta get an ice tub. I'm, I'm becoming more seasoned now, Kevin. Not old. I'm just more seasoned. <laughs> well said, Candace. Out called well both after the miss three from Damian Lillard, and here's LeBron outside. Portland's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Candace, I know how you love the play of Contavious Caldwell Pope with the Lakers. He shows you the importance of having solid role players, and my goodness, he was solid in the playoffs. Yes, he's solid in the playoffs, and that's what KCP was brought to LA to do to knock down the jump shot, to play defense, and, and to spread the floor. And when you're able to do that in the playoffs, when the team needs you the most, going to have a home to stay. Here's McCollum after the made shot from Andre Drummond. McCollum kicks to Lilly. Here's Nurkic. And it's sent back by Drummond. I feel like Drummond saw that one coming all the way. Great anticipation. Nurkic with the steal. Caldwell Pope against McCollum. High pose, Nurkic kicks it out to Covington. Cranes the three-pointer. Candace, aside from last season with the bubble, we've seen the WNBA steadily increase the number of regular season games. 28 to 32, 32 to 34. And this upcoming season, 36 games. Do you like all that change? As a competitor, I love it. I love playing more games. There's more opportunity to go out on the court and get better at what you're doing and get better at your craft. Um, you know, I, I don't think it's an issue with, with scheduling or, you know, when you're trying to fit a bunch of games into a small amount of time. You still get a, a number of practice days, so I'm, I'm all for increasing the games. Now here's James following the miss by C.J. McCollum. Lillard with it now, guarded by Schroeder. And Damian Lillard with the bucket on the assist by McCollum. And that was not an opportunity Lillard was going to let pass by. Getting down the floor in an instant and finishing on the break. Now here's Schroeder. Here's Drummond. Basket good. And the D getting out work there on the putback. Can't let that happen. 
for some reason, blocking out has become a lost art, and that's the result you'll get. Here's McCollum. Passes to Lillard. Latrey. No good. He's off to a slow start. One for four so far. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the quarter. And when rookies come into the WNBA, it's a quick turnaround, we know, from the college season, Candace. You won a 2008 title with Tennessee, and about a month later, made your rookie debut. I mean, there's not a lot of time there to catch your breath, is there? It's not a lot of time to catch your breath, for sure, but I, I did enjoy the fact that I wasn't going to get all the way out of shape. You know, when you're young, sure. you're able to kind of bounce back and tolerate a long season. So I think it was a fantastic year. 2008 was a dream. An almost entirely new group here for Portland. Cantoree checked in for Yusuf Nurkic. Anthony comes in for Robert Covington. Derek Jones, he's checked in for Norman Powell. And it's Simons in for Damian Lillard. Six changes of the lead here. Yeah, both teams still kind of feeling their way through this game. 112 left here in the first quarter. Caruso stolen by Cantor. Here's Simons, and he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Portland shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. First free throw is good. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. There's 57 seconds left in the first. Pass to Kuzma. That one, no good. Excellent D that time from Jones. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that, that's your only option. Portland shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. And, you know, Kanner can dominate on the court, but his real passion may be pro wrestling. He even held a pro title belt for a little while. He's a big, strong fella. I know I wouldn't want to be in the ring with him. Horton Tucker, that's good. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. There's 31 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Cullen passes to Cannon. Portland moving the ball. Around. Anthony drives in. Oh, and the jam by Anthony. And we talk about court awareness. There, McCollum doing a beautiful job spotting the open man. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. And the basket by McCollum. You just love how reliable he is. Night in and night out, this offense is there. Offense, the order of the day as the first quarter comes to a close. Trailblazers lead by four. From Portland, we're back in a moment. And before the game, we ran into Damian Lillard, who touched upon the team's camaraderie. What we've learned is staying together, staying with it, staying positive, um, and just being consistent, you know, in our work and our preparation. Um, it, it shines through, and, you know, it hasn't failed us yet. And Greg, of course, he helps keep everyone on the same page. Uh, he communicates well with his teammates, and he listens. That's why they trust him. The discussions go both ways. And we return again with more playoff action from the Western Conference semifinals. Hey guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Trailblazers? Well, they're having a lot of success for mid-range in the first half. Always nice to have that jumper to fall back on. Yeah, they're showing some muscle also in the first half as well and, and getting a lot of their points in the paint. Really like the balance they've shown. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play on the floor for Portland. Anthony out there with Robert Covington. Then it's Ennis Cantor. Then there's Norman Powell. And it's Lillard in at the point guard position. And it's the Trailblazers with the ball after the basket by Los Angeles. 
Lillard with it. Now guarded by Schroeder and stolen by LeBron. Fires the three. The shot's good on the assist by Schroeder. James has got the lead up to four now for the Lakers. Just over one minute has passed here in the second quarter. Pass to Powell. And the WNBA in 2016, Candace implemented a new playoff system with five game series in the last two rounds, but single game elimination in the earlier rounds. Do you like that? I do not like the system. I feel as though you play all year to get a top three spot or a top four spot, and it's a single elimination game. If you look at the way that the WBA has their playoff system set up, the Lakers losing to the Portland Trailblazers in the first round of the playoffs, the Lakers would have been out in 2020. And, you know, unfortunately, the Sparks were out in 2020, losing that first game. So I think that also you're, you're trying to find the best with that comes to series. Um, but also, you know, who knows what can happen. Somebody wakes up with the flu and can't play, and then your entire season is on the line. So I just don't like the, the one single game. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. And Candace, can you talk about the lifestyle, the experience for a WNBA player, uh, the work-life balance, who are also mothers or expecting mothers and trying to keep a professional basketball career on track? And on Kevin, I'll tell you this. I have had knee injuries. I've had my shoulder operated on. Um, there is nothing like coming back after having a child. Um, that is the toughest thing to do. But honestly, second to that is, you know, making sure that they're being raised. And so I think, you know, being a mom comes first. We're seeing a lot of guys in the NBA that are putting their kids first and missing time and having paternity leave, which I think is huge. And you said it, balance. Balance is key. And I, I have a great support system. My family is amazing. So I know when I'm playing basketball, my daughter's getting the best care. And you know, when I'm away from the game of basketball, I'm really enjoying it and spending time with her. Well, that's why they're in front. Uh, aggressive play at both ends. Nicely done. So for the Trailblazers, Derek Jones, he's checked in for Robert Covington. Column comes in for Anthony. And it's Simons in for Damian Lillard. Here's Caruso on the pass to Horton Tucker. Caruso looking for an opening. Harrell finds Kuzma. And there's the foul. Here go on Alex Caruso. That's foul number two for him. His second foul in as many quarters. We'll see if he backs off or stays aggressive. And so it's Jones. He'll bring it up for the Trailblazers. They're coming off a great victory on Wednesday. Well, on the road, you don't expect to look so comfortable on the offensive end, but that was the story of the game. Yeah, they look right at home, except they weren't. Great job of blocking out the noise. Now Kuzma following the three-point attempt by C.J. McCollum. Passes it to Horton Tucker. Harrell kicks to Kuzma. Shot clock at six to stop the drought, and Kuzma slams it in. I'm not surprised to see Kuzma throw it down. He's got the length and leaping ability to do so. All right, Candace, once again, thanks for joining us. Great to have you here. And don't be a stranger. We'll always welcome you back. Thank you so much. And I can't wait to get back behind this table with you guys and talk some basketball. Terrific. Steve, how great to have Candace with us. She's made such an impact on the game overall. Kevin, Hall of Famer in the WNBA. And now I get a chance to work with her off the court and when I think she'll be a Hall of Famer as well. It's a pleasure working with Candace Parker. Pass to Nurkic. 40 seconds left in the first half. Makes it off the glass. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Lakers trail by three. Here's Caruso. And there's the foul. Here we go on Alex Caruso. And that'll be his third foul so far. And really just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge. Dennis Canners checked in for the Trailblazers. 
Arkansas has checked in for Los Angeles. And Harrell slams it in. Getting hit on the way up, the ability to finish in traffic might be Harrell's strongest attribute offensively. McCollum feeling it out a bit. Ball's not loose. Gasol with the steal. So that'll be it for the first half. Fairly even battle underway in this one. Trailblazers out in front, up by one. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Kevin, thanks. Here with Coach Terry Stotts. Coach, it's a hard game so far. Going into the second half, what will you tell your team? You just got to compete. You know, keep uh, competing, trust each other, make plays. All right, Coach, thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David, for that interview. And we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is Ernie Johnson with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. How about the playoff atmosphere? We're going to break down all the first half action for you. Checking out the Trailblazers. They're one half away from finally moving on in this series. The pressure of Game 7 may be weighing heavily on them, and they've still got their work cut out in the second half, but they're in a pretty good position. What did you think about Portland, Kenny? Well, one area where they have had the upper hand is scoring off the bench. When the second unit guys have come in, they brought a lot of energy with them. And that's what you need from your reserves, energy. And they gave a lot of energy and a big jolt. Shaq, what was your takeaway on the Lakers? Well, they need to turn the heat up on deep. Too often we saw them back on the hill, not dictating the pace. They allowed a shooting percentage in the high 50s. Remind me of my free throw percentage, the high 50s. Come on, guys. That about wraps it up. Time now for the second half of the game. We go to Kevin Harlan for the call. side of Game 7 as this series comes to a head. You have to like what we're seeing from Carmelo Anthony. In those first two quarters, he was pretty much an automatic bucket getter if he got it down low on the block. I have to credit them for their patience offensively. They understood the matchup and they took the necessary time to exploit it. So for the Lakers right now, the forwards are LeBron and Davis. Contavious Caldwell Pope is out there with Dennis Schroeder. And it's Drummond in at the five down low. Portland trailing here. McCollum with the ball. Lillard outside. Fires from deep. That falls. Nice feed that time from McCollum. McCollum's got his third assist on the night. Here's James. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It goes on C.J. McCollum. And once LeBron gets the ball in the painted area, the force he plays with is hard not to foul him. Here's McCollum. He kicks to Lillard. It's Powell on the wing. Back to Lillard. And he drives in. And then Lillard slams it in. Good job of stepping up to the plate there, seizing back the momentum for his team. That's the competitor in him. Close game. Let me have this one. And well Pope with a wide open look, buries it from three-point range. Aldwell Pope's got six points. More of a score first point guard, but Schroeder doing a good job of finding the open man. A tight game here in Portland. Now here's Lillard. He's got eight. That one goes. Tony. Lillard's got seven points here in this quarter. As we approach the fourth quarter, still anyone's ballgame. Yeah, neither team able to create much of a cushion. James against Gump. And the dunk by James. Somebody's got to rotate over, but who wants to step in front of LeBron? Over a minute and a half into the third quarter of action. Lillard, the pass to Nurkic. 
outside Covington. And the three off target. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage play. And there's Schroeder. That's good. The assist by James. James has got three assists now in this one. Trailblazers trail by three. Lillard outside. Driving inside. And Lillard throws it down. Almost unstoppable on the drive. Lillard's talent for ball handling. Letting him just cut through the defense. How do you stop that? LeBron with too much lift and too much power. Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. Covington, a screen on Caldwell Pope. McCollum finds Nurkic. Here is Lillard. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Here's Schroeder. That shot is off. Good work defensively by Lillard. Trailblazers have gone 4-6 from the field since the start of the third. Inside. That fall. Nice feed that time for McCullough. Lillard's got 11 points here in just the second half. An almost entirely new group here for Portland. Cantor checked in for Nurkic. Anthony comes in for Robert Covington. Jones checked in for Norman Powell. And it's Simons in for C.J. McCollum. Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. There's the drive. Caruso kicks to Kuzma. Pass to Caruso. He feeds it to Davis. And that's out of bounds. The Lakers will retain possession. Great energy on the deflection, and a good job disrupting their offense. This is called an effort play. Terrific hustle at the defensive end. Now here's Jones. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Here's Kuzma, and Jones sends it back. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Jones. Portland on defense. Davis looking for an opening. Takes it inside. Knocks it loose. Here's Anthony. And it's Anthony with the jam. And, you know, often we think of Dane as a score first, but they're reminding us of his great ability to pass the rock. Now here's Kuzma. Kicks it to Hill. The pass to Caruso. Lillard outside. Outside Anthony. Here's Simons. Back to Anthony. And it's the Lakers on the break. Here's Harold. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. He plays with such force. You see why Harold has been called the heart and soul of this team. And he's got his first chance at the line here. 36 seconds left in the third. Here's Simons. Got a hand on it. Jones against Kuzma. It's tipped. Here's Davis. Count the basket and the foul. That one's on Anthony. Well, when we talk about AD as an athlete, a major component to that is his body control able to adjust off contact to finish the play. That one misses for Davis. And here's Lillard. He brings it up for Portland. Four-point game. And then Lillard sends it in. Don't let his height fool you. Lillard can rise up with the best of them. From past the arc, bangs home the trifecta. Caruso's got the lead up to five now for the Lakers. Well, it's been an exciting game. Plenty of offense as we head to the fourth quarter. 
Lakers lead by five. And do not go away as we'll be back in just a few moments with the start of our fourth quarter coming up next. In a moment now, as we take a look at our State Farm assists of the game. And how about the floor generalship right here? I mean, showing us why they're always in good hands when he's the man in charge. So many good point guards in this league. So much responsibility comes with that position. That was a smart, smart play. Well, this has been a great contest so far, and I imagine the fourth quarter could have even more action in store for us. Hillard and McCollum are the high octane guard pair. Robert Covington out there with Ennis Cantor, and it's Powell in at the small four. That's the group on the floor for Portland. Outside for Caldwell Pope. Out to the right wing. Here's Schroeder. Here's Drummond. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. And, the, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. What do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for the Lakers? I mean, a fantastic game for them in open court. Their fast break points really stand out. And also, guys, they take a lot of pride in their ability to rebound the basketball, especially on the offensive end. Los Angeles leading by eight. And finds James. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. The Trailblazers shooting the ball really well in this game. 58%. Deflects the pass. And stolen by LeBron. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. And the dunk by James. Defensively, you want to take away LeBron's driving lanes. But his speed and power still went out. LeBron's gone 5 of 10 from the floor. McCollum passes to Lillard. McCollum with the screen on James. Three-pointer Lillard. Basket number eight for him on 13 tries. That's 62% so far. Here we go. His second made from beyond the arc in the second half after having no such luck in the first. And Dennis Schroeder gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. The Trailblazers making a switch here. Nurkic has checked in. Lakers on D. They've played a great fourth quarter defensive, allowing only three points. And the foul called on Markeith Morris. That is his first foul of the game. McCollum outside. Launches it. And the Trailblazers, another three. Their three-point percentage has taken a big leap here in this second half. LeBron against Paul. James. Here's Drummond. And he makes good on the layup. Drummond's got five points in the quarter. And hard work on the glass. Once again, guys, they put a lot of effort and focus on the backboard. Good on the three-point shot. Proof positive that Lillard is worth it. That's talent you can build a franchise around. Schroeder dishes to Drummond. LeBron James on the wing. Feeds to Morris. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. And he makes the first. And Morris drops them both. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. And Lillard kicks to Powell. Here's Nurkic. Good work there as it goes. And just a massive player. Nurkic's combination of size and strength helps him on that offensive glass. Nobody near Schroeder. Los Angeles with another miss. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. And, and here we go, guys. This possession could make or break them right here. Here's 
James, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. It's on Damian Lillard. What is there to say about LeBron that hasn't been said? One of the all-time greats who can completely carry a team. Los Angeles making a switch here. Davis has checked in. And he steps up and knocks them down, making it a two-possession game. Schroeder against Lillard. To the middle. Here's Nurkic. And finished off by Nurkic. Yeah, you can't allow Nurkic to get that kind of position. When you do, he is going to rattle that rim. LeBron outside to the paint. And Drummond gets it to go on the assist by James. Drummond's got seven now in this quarter. This is who you want leading that play. A sure passer with great awareness. Trailblazers trail by five. Lillard scanning the floor. And Dennis Schroeder gets the whistle that time. That'll be his second foul of the game. Lillard against Schroeder. Lillard outside. This is to Nurkic. <laughs> Love watching Nurkic set hard screens and then roll with purpose. Great job in the creativity there from the pick and roll. And it's Schroeder with the ball. He brings it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. They've led by as much as 10. There's 47 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Lillard from outside. A rebound by Caldwell Pope. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Here's Drummond. Good! Leveraging one of their best assets, Drummond's dominance inside. present our New Balance player of the game, LeBron James. And the way he's made his mark with his work inside, he's just been a slasher tonight. Always moving, getting to the basket at will, and just seemingly taking advantage of a D that was reluctant to get in his way. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Hi, Kevin. Well, Terry Stotts just went over his game plan with his team. And even though they're down, he was confident. He said, look, guys, I've got all the confidence in the world in you. We've been down this road before. We know what we need to do. Kevin, let's see if they can overcome this deficit. Time called here. The Blazers decide to talk it over. They're down by six. We've got 28 seconds left to play here in the fourth. There's a four-second difference. Oh, Look out! Here he comes! That was amazing. And look Woo. at the elevation. Uh, a guy who spaces the floor, but also willing to attack the rim. Lillard has confounded the defense all night. And he misses the first one. Boy, he wanted that one to fall. And he ends up making the second, and that puts them up by five. There's 21 seconds left in the game. And that's an intentional foul. It's the first that increases their lead to six. A nightly double-double machine. Andre Drummond gives you reliable production. Adding a little cushion to their advantage. Nice work at the line. No good on the triple. Now LeBron. Driving to the basket. Oh, what a great finish as he gets bumped on his way up. He'll go to the line and try to tack on another. And it's just competing. You know, giving your best when it matters most. It's called killer instinct. It's one thing to be close at the end. It's another to finish. Big moment at the line. As poised as you get, this thing is done. 
and that's going to do it for this series. They'll move on. They took the long road to get here, but they've done it. They're moving on to the conference finals, Greg, after a thrilling seven-game series and a win here in round two. And what a memorable series this was. So fitting that it came down to a game seven, and now no rest for the weary. They've got to get right back to work. And we've got David Aldridge standing by on our sideline with the player of the game. David, it's all yours. Thanks very much, LeBron. How did you guys maintain your focus during this game? I think it's just everything we've been through in the postseason. Uh, we've been down. We will stand rallies. And, uh, you know, the good thing about it, when they score, we didn't get our head down. We just got back on offense and started to execute. So it's a great team that we're going against. So we're going to need every effort, every play. And it's going to take all the way down to those zeros on that clock to get a win. You guys played every minute tonight to get the win. Thanks, LeBron. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. Well, that'll do it, folks. Glad you could join us for the Western Conference semifinals. For Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. See you later.